from mountain tops to valleys low. There you are, it's where I will go. Cause if you're there, there'll always be a way. So send me, and I will go from mountain tops to valleys low. Where you sent me, there's a soul in waiting. And if you sent me, I'm not waiting. I will go from mountain tops to valleys low. Cause there's a hope that a soul is waiting for. And there's a light that needs to shine through an open door. And there's a peace. That's coming here, and how will they know? How will they know if you don't let them in? There's a hope that a soul is waiting for, and there's a peace that's gonna come rushing through the door. And there's a love that's gonna overtake But how will they know If you don't go From mountain tops To valleys low Where you send me It's there I will go and I won't wait Would you say go Cause there's a soul that's waiting So from mountain tops To valleys low I will go You know when he wants to sing over you? When he's singing Anybody listening? Oh, there's another one. There's a peace that's overwhelmed me. It clouds the senses, blocks out the world. And there's a peace that's transcending. It surpasses everything that we go through. There's a peace that lasts forever, and it's found in Jesus Christ. And there's a peace. comes the soul and you know yeah you know our God is in control and our God is making a way and our God is sitting above Everything, everything. And there's a peace that nothing else can bring. And there's a joy that's overtaking. And there's a strength that's coming in His presence. 
in his presence, you find that peace. Oh, he's singing. Anybody listening? Anybody celebrating? It's your love that's overtaking our soul. And it's your love that's casting out every fear. And when I think that I can't make it, there you go. You are before me, and you are behind me, and you are within me, and you are inside me, and you are over me. There you are, it's your love that's overtaking. My soul, and it's all I need to know. When this life becomes too hard, and when this world becomes too rough, it's your love, my Jesus. It's your love, it's overtaking. My soul. Hallelujah. Hmm. Papa's singing over us. It's just rushing in strength. It's rushing in grace. It's your love that's overtaking my soul. It's your love that's overwhelming Everything I'm looking at It's your love that's overwhelming My spirit, Lord Until I fall asleep Like a baby in your arms Hallelujah. I love it. I love when you sing to me. Another one? You're like the brightest star That's shining in the darkest night You're like the sun, no brighter, that shines at noonday. You're piercing every darkness. You're destroying every hopelessness. You are. Yeah, you are. You're the lamp unto my feet. And you're the light unto my path. And as you walk with me, I'll never walk in darkness. I'll never be alone. And as you walk with me, my path will always be lit. Cause there you are, like the brightest shining star in the darkest night. And the sun that shines at noonday, brighter, ever so bright. You're the one that's bringing hope. Hmm. 
to every soul. You are my God. You are my God, Jesus. You are my God, Jesus. You are my God. Hallelujah. Oh, he sings beautiful ones. Pop, will you give another one? Sometimes when I wake up in the morning and the teardrops has stained my cheeks and my pillows are soaking wet I hear your voice Your mercies are new every morning Your mercies are new every day It's like a rose that receives the dewdrops Every morning, I find something new to rejoice in, cause your mercies are new, weeping may endure for a night. Sometimes it gets lonely, sometimes it's a fright, but don't you know, say to my soul, I am your salvation, I am your salvation, I am near. You don't have to fear When you wake up in the morning And the teardrops stain your cheeks I am near I've been there While you've been crying In the night Don't you know Don't you know Hallelujah. Do you like it? Papa's singing. <laughs> He's making me joyful. Another one? Okay. If I trust you, they spoil the whole thing. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to edit it and fix a lock. If I trust you, I know. No matter how long it takes, no matter where I go. If I trust you, I do. Lord, I know that you will give me that blessing without sorrow. Mm. If I trust you, my God, you're so worthy and I love you. If I trust you, if I listen to your voice, 
If I walk that path, if I don't complain, if I don't make a lot of noise, if I trust you, I do, Popo, I do trust you, Pope Jesus. Yes, I know. Soon enough, I'll receive the blessing without sorrow. Yes, I will. That one's short. I was trying to kill a mosquito because it bit me. It's not nice. If it bit me and it's filled with blood, which means it's going to lay eggs, and I don't know where it went. Okay. But they bit me so much. It's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay. Just give me a second. What was the other song? I don't even know if they caught it because I was recording it on Facebook on the computer and they didn't record anything. Normally, a song in the spirit only comes once. So it's really, really special. Another one? Um... Enter into your gates with thanksgiving. Mm. Enter into your courts with praise. With the holy angels bowing before your throne. The 24 elders. Casting their crowns of all living creatures, they bow low. A sea of worshippers, <laughs> they're also in all fear. So here I am. Here I am, I'm down on my knees, here I am, I'm begging God, Jesus, please, pour out your spirit, make it tangibly known. That I'm here too. That I'm in all of you. Here I am. Down on my knees. Mm. I'm bowing down. It's for your glory in your namesake, Papa. Pour out your spirit. Make it tangibly known. Go on. Have your perfect way. Let me be in one accord with heaven. Continually. Run into your gates with thanksgiving. I run into your court. With high praise, bowing here at your feet, I am in awe. I am in awe. The twenty four elders, they cast their crowns. The four living creatures, they're bowing down. Rise them, rise of angels, they sing holy, 
holy and zeal of worshippers there and all of your majesty majesty here I am giving you all giving you have my heart it's my gift you can take it it belongs to you majesty <laughs> that one was kind of off key but it was a song of the spirit another one i think i'm all out of songs am i nope I just feel uneasy with my towel because if FB would just switch the connection, my towel fall, that would not be good. They love to do that, you know, they love to find odd moments and just spy on you. I feel better. I feel a little bit weak, but the pasta brought me a, um, a soup and I feel a lot better. And then I was able to shower. But I fell down like three times today. Because I was just so weak. And at first I just sat there. And I was just like, Papa, I know you're here. But my hip was hurting and my left leg was hurting. Because I fell really hard. I was spinning and before I knew it, I mean, I didn't understand thought I was falling because it just happened so fast and um, by the time I knew it I was on the ground so I hit my face on the sink and I hit my um, my hip and my leg on the ground and I just laid there my, got, my butt got wet with the um the bathroom floor and I was still in my PJs and I just limped on my bed and I laid down I'm like what in the world is this but when pasta came in he knew exactly what I've been fighting all the week long see something's been trying to stop me from prophesying and it was sent and it's been here for a week and that's what I told you swords came in my hand and I had to cut off its neck when pasta came here he sensed it, prayed against it, and sent it out. And there's just been peace. Just peace. I'm so grateful. I drank soup, but I didn't. I didn't taste salt. I'm not really digesting a lot of stuff. I eat some, I try to eat some cereal, which is something that I go to very quickly, and I don't even want that. So that's not good. That I don't know. Maybe I eat some raw carrots or something. But I feel a little bit stronger. That's good. I feel a bit stronger. Jav's not even feeling well. Night. And I couldn't, um, after that I got really, really sick. I don't get sick for this reason. So when I'm sick, then you know that I'm really, really sick. I don't get sick because there's nobody to, there's nobody as a guarantee. And today I heard Papa saying, woe to the one who has no one. Because when he falls, he has no one to pick him up. And go to the one who has no one. Because when he's cold, he has no one to warm him. And I felt that when I was shivering. I was like, I had a fever and I was shivering. Then I heard him say something like, This is Zion. 
whom they say no one cares for. But I love her. It just made my spirit happy. <laughs> and I rejoice, rejoice that my papa loves me. Yep. And then my mom had brought so much food from last week that I tried to eat it during the week. And I ate it all through the week until this weekend. And I've still got food remaining. But I just don't want anything. I just... I want... um. I want sweet... No, I don't even want sweet. I don't even know what I want. I want... I don't know what I, I would think I want like something like mango chow or something. Where you take mangoes and you just add some salt and some pepper. That's what I want. I'll eat that. I'm gonna have like little fruits or something. It's not very easy. You guys see me but you don't know what I'm going through and I try not to share it. It's between me and all the cheeses. So. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, look how skinny my hands have gotten. Look. I've lost like about maybe 10 pounds. My veins are short. Really, really skinny. Hmm. We die that people might live, right? I'm hoping that it's not literal, but you know. At least Jeff's doing well. I have two families that are fed and happy. Two single parent moms. I know Dylan's angry, but I really don't care. I'm here to piss him off. Over and over and over again. I hope you too. So I know things are not. I'm not saying that my life is the worst. But I'm saying that if you're going through something too, you know what? There's somebody who needs you. There's still somebody who needs you. There's still somebody you can help. You just have to take... Um, take a walk around the block again. Um, take, a, take a stroll in that uh, grocery again. Go into that store one more time. Pick up that phone and call one more time. Um, sometimes people are ready to break down and fall apart and they hold it together at your first call or when they're speaking to you when they see you in the first try and if you just track back you'll find a very broken person that person needs Jesus You go be the light wherever you are. I know plenty of you have gotten your kids taken away and you've got so much to deal with, but you know what? When Abba's jealous for you, he will cause those things to happen because if you love your kids more than him, he will remove it. If you love, like me, the mosquito, if you, if you, if you're like me, whatever, I have loved more. He's taking it away. Everything. Down to a pet. He's jealous for me. In some serious, serious ways. So if you... Um, if you love things more than him, he takes it away. You always have to put him first. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Try my best. So I know that Brother Roland, Roland and 
Brother Daniel got their kids yanked from them. But the Lord wants you. He wants you. He wants your full undivided attention. He doesn't want your attention on the kids. He wants your attention on ministry. He wants your attention on souls. I don't know if there's anybody else, but I, I just know that when he's jealous, he takes things away. He wants to be the first love of your soul. He wants to be the one in charge of everything. He wants to be first. You got to choose it. I heard him saying that people are going to go through three days of toughness. Three days. Where something will be really good. And he'll go down to the pit, like literally deep, deep, deep down. He's going to have you there for himself, you and him. You're going to talk it out. You're going to come to the realization of your calling. You're going to come to the realization of how important your vow is to him. And it will only take three days. It will literally only take three days. And guys... I'm not married. So, in the meantime, I'm going to flirt with every born again single meal that there is who wants to go with me. <laughs> Why did I say that? I don't know. I really couldn't care less. I really don't care. Um, they say if you're not married and you're single, so I'm like, all right, cool. So, I even took my mind off of that, you know. Meet people, talk to people, yeah, hi, how you going? Okay, you're good, you're nice, great. What are you going to do for me? Are you going to elevate me in Christ? Can you pray? Oh, I want to know all these things. And if the answer is no, oops. You gotta straighten up. I build people, I put people together. This is no jokey foundation, this is a real foundation. Joy of the Lord is our strength. It's hard. No, it's hard. But you don't have to be scared. Jesus is right there with us. He's right here with us. It could have been so much worse. It could have been where I would have been like totally damaged. I'm so grateful that I wasn't. He gave his angels charge over me. I'm so, so grateful. Eddie here. I think, oh, I think this one will go through for sure. I don't think the other one went through. Why? Because it's Facebook, that's why. The other one was the same, like the mountains high and valleys low. He was singing that song for me. And um, most of the people that I knew now was married with kids because that's what people put first. Not the Lord. And you know, when I saw that scripture, it made so much sense to me and it's going to make a lot of sense to you. I promise you. When you read this, you're going to be like, what the heck have I been doing? You ready to see it? I'm ready to post it.
those in the age having attained wisdom. Counted worthy. Liba basole so li elevo so lo sale la hat le ando sale sho so tere yela. If your heart is open, look only if your heart is open. This is not for those who um, who are about self. Okay. This is some serious, serious, this is going to speak to your spirit with such a, you're going to understand why. Let me see if I can save it. The people of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy of partaking in the age to come and in the resurrection from the dead will neither marry nor be given in marriage. What? 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 I, I'm, I'm sorry. What did it just say? What did, what did? I, I don't. Um, it says those who are considered worthy to what? To partake of the age to come. What does that mean? Jesus' millennial reign. And what else? For resurrection from the dead? Why is that? Because they love not their lives. They've put the gospel first. You know, Abba said it very, very plainly when he said there was a king. He went out. He sent, sorry, he sent his people out to give invitations. And some people pushed them away. And they said, we have land. Leave us alone. We have a house. Leave us alone. We have a wife and kids. Leave us alone. We're busy. Leave us alone. They neglected the um, the invitation. And Abba said, okay. Go into the highways and the byways. And then. Go into the highways and the byways and send out the invitations. That's exactly what they did. They went out in the highways and the byways. They sent out the invitation. You think I'm joking? I'm serious as rain. So they missed their chance. They missed their chance. They're not invited. They can't come in without the invitation. You know, I hear Papa saying, just like the man that snuck in without being invited and had the wrong a parlor on, he had the wrong clothes on. He said, take him out and fling him into the place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh boy. Yeah, not good in no, in no kind of scene, not good in any kind of circumstance, scenario. But I hear him saying that. He's serious about his kingdom. See, this world is temporary. Everything that we can see, 
every single thing that we can see, smell, taste, touch, and hear, including each other, is tempeh. The thing inside is the soul. That is eternal. That is what he's concerned about. See that thing called the soul? Yes, he cares about our body, but not as much as our spirit. What did I say our soul? Our spirit. He cares about our spirit because it's going to last forever. That's a thing that gets either rewarded or punished. So he's very, very serious about getting the word out there. So that every single soul could receive salvation. I feel like if I'm good enough, I'll begin. <sighs> yes, I am. Oh, I need to get some clothes on. Anyway, that's what I heard. I hope you enjoyed it. Except the scare Facebook gave you, like, flipping the freaking thing on your face. Well, my skin is breaking out so bad. Well, it's getting better, but it's still, you know. Just praying for it to get better. I had a dream where a lady projected evil to me. She touched me in my dream and spoke like sickness. And I know this witch from Mississippi. She's been working overtime. Because in her delusional head, she thinks that Daniel's crazy about me or I'm crazy about Daniel or something like that. She's delusional. She's jealous like crazy. So, hmm. That's something to deal with. It's one thing to deal with a witch. It's the next thing to deal with a delusional witch. My skin will be restored soon. I have faith. All right. I'm good, girl. Ciao for now. Jesus loves you. Shalom.